In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to do an in condition exception override with a left transition. And in my corridor, I have two template drops. This first template drop, I have it sloping right here um, at a 50% slope. And then with this template drop that starts at station um, 300, is um, this is a 16% slope right here. Right there, you see 16. And I want to transition, because right now it has a hard break, so I want it to be a much smoother break. So to do that, I'll go into Open Roads Modeling, Corridors, under Edits, I'll select Create In Condition Exception. The first thing it asks is for me to locate my corridor and then to name it. So I'll name it slope transition, data point to accept, and I want left transition. So select left transition. And I want the transition to start at station 250 and I will have it end at station 325 right there. Okay, so then it pulls up this window and um, this is where you can edit the transition. So um, we still see these two points. I want to connect these to each other. That way the transition, it's transitioning this point to this point right here. So now that I have them all mapped, I'll click OK and it gives me a reminder. In order for the transition to work properly, the appropriate constraints must be removed. And they are all removed because they're in green. And this slider just shows a transition. That way um, you can see it, make sure it's working properly, and it looks like everything's good to go. So I'll click OK. And it processes. And then we get this in the view window, the 2D where you can um, edit, you can edit your station, um, and this blue box just shows that you have an in condition exception right there. And if I jump through the stations, um, I'll start at station 250. And you can see the slope levels out to that 16% and it's back at that 50 and it's leveling out. So that's how you do the um, in-condition exception transitions.